Hi, it's Mrs. Farrell. Welcome back to the library. I'm going to read you a couple of books about squirrels. The first one is called Nuts to You, and it's written by Lois Ellert. I'm going to pull you alongside me so you can see the pictures, and we're going to read Nuts to You. See that squirrel in our tree? I think he'd rather live with me. I'll wait a while. He could be shy, or maybe he likes it way up high. Look, here he comes, trying to hide. He can't wait to get inside. He's in the flowers. He's really bad. He's digging up bulbs. My mom is mad. There he goes, up the bricks, on his claws. He steals seeds and eats with his paws. He's Walking on tiptoe, tail held high, he brushes my plants as he zips by. In our window box, watching us eat, he sits on the flowers and begs for treats. I open my window for some fresh air, but I forgot the screen had a tear. And it's right there. When I came back, guess what I found? That squirrel was there looking around. So I got some nuts, ran out the door, tapped one on the sidewalk, and left a few more. Nuts to you, I shouted loud as I could. That squirrel peeked out. I knew he would. He looked to the left. He looked to the right. He ran down the bricks and took a big bite. He ate all those nuts, then scampered away. But he'll get hungry again someday. I'll keep nuts in my pockets, one or two. And when I see him, I'll say, nuts to you. Can you see him? There he is. And that's nuts to you. The second book we're going to read is called The Wild Woods, and it's by Simon James. Jess was walking with her granddad when they saw a squirrel. I'd like to take him home, Jess said. You can't keep a squirrel, called Granddad. They're too wild. I'll take care of him, Jess said. But you can't keep a squirrel, called Granddad. What are you going to feed him? He likes our sandwiches, Jess said. You can't keep a squirrel, shouted Granddad. Where's he going to sleep? I'll make him a bed in my room, Jess said. Hurry up, Granddad. I think I found a waterfall. You can't really keep a squirrel, Granddad whispered. I know, said Jess. He belongs in the wild. I like being in the wild, Jess said. Can we come back tomorrow? Well, okay, said Granddad. Good, Jess said, because... One of those ducks might need taking care of. And they're walking home. So both of these books kind of say squirrels are cute. They belong outside.